Now that you have laid down the basics, it is time to create the text simulating the musical instruments. You'll start with the trumpet. In the front view, create a line of text that reads TRUMPET in capital letters. Zoom back a bit and move it a bit to the left and up, about 400 units in each direction. Change the font to one you like. In this movie, we're using Bauhaus 93. Extrude the text about 60 units. Incidentally, be careful which font you use, as some do not extrude very well. Notice, for example, how the Berlin Sans FB bold font displays a weird behavior when extruded. In order to shape the text to look like a trumpet, you need to subdivide it. Add the Quadrify Mesh modifier and leave the quad size percent value to 4. You can always decrease it later if you need more detail. With the added detail to the text, you are now ready to deform it. Add an FFD box modifier. FFD stands for Freeform Deformation. Change the number of points to 3 by 4 by 3. Expand the modifier and select Control Points. As you move the FFD control points, you deform the text. In the left view, select the middle vertical column of control points and scale it vertically to curve the text. Next, select the middle horizontal row and scale it horizontally. In the front view, select the vertical columns one at a time and use 3D scale to shape the text into a trumpet. Keep on fine-tuning your work until you get a shape that you like. Go to the Slate Material Editor and create a standard material based on a gold diffuse color. Adjust the specular level and glossiness to make it shiny. Connect the Golden Lake image as a reflection map. Bring down the reflection level a bit and apply the new material to the object in the scene. Test render the perspective view. If you feel the resolution is jagged, reduce the quantify percent value to about 2%. Be aware that this affects computer performance and rendering time. Once done, you need to relocate the object's pivot point as it will help you with the animation later. In the hierarchy panel, click the Effect Pivot Only button. Start by centering the pivot to the object and then move it to the left closer to the mouthpiece, the first letter. Exit Effect Pivot Only mode. At this time, notice that the object's local orientation is not aligned with the world coordinate system. This is mostly because the text was created in the front view. It is usually good practice to reset objects after transforming and modifying them. This way, you ensure they are oriented the same way before you start animating them. The safest way to reorient an object to the world coordinate system is to use the Reset XForm utility. This utility adds an XForm modifier to the stack and reorients the object's local axes. Once you are done with shaping the trumpet, and once you are absolutely sure no more changes are required, you can collapse the object to an editable potty. This way, 3ds Max wouldn't need to evaluate the Extrude, Quadrify, FFD, or XForm modifiers, and needs only to deal with a simple mesh. You can of course save your file to keep a working version of the trumpet in case you need to fall back on it later. Now that the trumpet is in place, let's model the other instruments starting with the congas. Create text that reads Hi Conga in capital letters, 
and set it to the Snap ITC font. Set the size to about 50 and rotate the text so that it is standing up. Extrude the text about 30 units. If you want, add the small letter L before and after high conga to provide the drum with upper and lower horizontal platforms. From this point on, the technique is similar to what you did earlier. Namely, you need to add a Quadrify Mesh modifier to the top of the stack and an FFD box modifier, although in this case you can use the preset FFD 3x3x3. This time, you'll round up the instrument using the top view and then shape it a bit more by inflating its midsection and slightly the top. Use the Reset X Form utility to reset the object's local axes. Add a UVW map modifier in box mode and create a material for it based on the provided bitmap. Finally, relocate the pivot point as you did earlier so that it is at the base of the drum. Before you collapse the stack as you did earlier, make a copy of the high conga drum to create the low conga twin. Actually, a low conga is slightly fatter and has a lower pitch sound. So, in addition to changing the text to read low conga, adjust the FFD control points to make for a slightly larger drum. You'll notice an unexpected 90 degree rotation of the FFD gizmo, that's due to the applied X4 modifier. You're still able to deform the mesh, however. Collapse both congas to individual editable poly objects. This will help with computer performance. In the next movie, you'll build the last instrument, the double bass.